Alfalfa, also known as leucine, has several ethnobotanical and medicinal properties. In this video, I will mention eight medicinal properties of alfalfa and why you should use it as a supplement or tea for yourself and your animals. Alfalfa is botanically called medicago sativa and it grows in several countries around the world. It is popularly used as a feed for cattle and horses. But the leaf is sometimes used as a beverage to stimulate appetite in human. But this leaf has several other medicinal properties, such as relieving urinary and bowel problems. Number one, alfalfa reduces the risk of toxicity in the liver and the heart. Taking the dried leaf of alfalfa as a tea helps to maintain the body metabolism. Alfalfa can be used as a supplement to suppress oxidative stress in the body. And not only the leaf, alfalfa sprout, that is the seed sprout, is also used traditionally for the treatment of other ailments such as arthritis, kidney problem, fever, and is also known as an anti-cancer. Number two, alfalfa leaf has anti-diabetic properties. In a scientific research, results revealed that the blood sugar of the diabetic was significantly reduced by the extract of alfalfa tea. Recommended dose of alfalfa tea is 200 mg per kg in a day. Number three, alfalfa helps with wound healing. The hydroalcoholic extract dried leaf of alfalfa has shown an important wood healing activity. Applying this topically on a wound help to fasting our healing. Number four, alfalfa is used in the treatment of anemia. In a randomized control trial carried out on 102 anemic adolescent girls between the age 14 to 18, the leaf concentrate of alfalfa was used over three months as an alternative to iron and folic acid supplements. At the end of the trial, the leaf concentrate of alfalfa was very effective and more palatable alternative to iron and folic acid supplement for treatment of anemia in adolescent girls. Number five, alfalfa can be used to manage scurvy, that is deficiency of vitamin C. Alfalfa leaf is known to have high content of vitamin C, so it can be used to manage scurvy by being incorporating it into your diet. Number six, alfalfa is used for human body hair reduction. The application of alfalfa leaf extract cream resulted in human body hair diameter reduction with no side effect. Number seven, alfalfa is beneficial for arthritis. The decortition of the plant is used as a bath to stimulate tired and painful feet, hand, leg. And finally, effectiveness of alfalfa in the reproductive health of animals. By breeding several ruminants or any form of animal, alfalfa in an experiment has been known to increase the weight of ovaries and uterus in animal. Administering extracts of alfalfa leaf in animals for over 15 days helps to increase the reproductive rate. It is known to increase milk yield, lower fat, and increase milk protein in dairy cow. Note, moderate consumption of alfalfa leaves in teas and capsules is generally considered safe and without significant side effects. Injection of high amount of alfalfa has been reported to lead to promotion of lumpus like symptoms. Although no human or animal studies on alfalfa in pregnancy or lactation has been carried out, 
but herbalists consider alfalfa to be safe during pregnancy because farmers do not restrict livestock from feeding on alfalfa during pregnancy or lactation. Kindly click the like button, drop a comment, and click the subscription bell if you are yet to do so. Thank you for watching the plant therapies. Bye bye.